Hello, this is Martin Brossman. This is a quick video that's a prerequisite for many of the trainings that Greg Heyer and I do, part of linking into sales. And I want to start by looking at your LinkedIn profile and then make sure to click edit profile right there. Edit profile, profile, edit profile. That will bring you to this screen. First of all, make sure you have a clear picture here that represents you. This is the first impression of you on the web. Uh, the second thing is right here. Do you see this? This is the public profile that's visible to Google. And usually the default setting is a series of characters uh, along with your name that just doesn't look as nice. So I want you to click the word edit right here. There we go. And then you have, uh, you see, this is how you can make visible your LinkedIn profile to Google search. I recommend uh, personally making it all visible. Uh, if it's something that private that you don't want on Google, you probably shouldn't have told about uh, 300 million people on LinkedIn. Uh, now, uh, you can click it to make it public to no one. That means outside of LinkedIn. Or you can make it public and visible. Obviously, if you have some unique safety um, uh, situations you may vary this but I've clicked all my links the next thing here is customize your public profile customize your public profile URL do you see that here you're gonna click this and you see linkedin.com forward slash in Martin Brossman uh, if you notice that LinkedIn uh, Martin Brossman set custom URL this is where you'll type in your name don't use some cutesy name. Use your real name. Now, if your name's Joe Smith, it might have to be Joe R. Smith. It's lowercase, written together, keep it simple, or Joe R. Smith Jr. Uh, until you get a unique name that's available. Then click Set Custom URL. Then after that, we'll go back to the profile and go over a few other basic things. The next thing is Edit Contact Information. So right here... Uh, is contact information so that people can contact you. Now, it's important to have a phone number, and if you have a business phone number, put it in here. Um, I don't necessarily recommend a cell phone here, uh, something that you don't mind being on the web. Uh, Google Voice can give you a protected uh, phone number there. And then the other thing is make sure if you have a business address, it's clearly here so people can reach you. This is, they look you up. I can't tell you how many people I've tried to look up and I can't find their number. I go to LinkedIn. I want to refer them. And they even have a business phone number, so they haven't put it on. So make sure that contact is fully filled out. And then under here, you can add different Twitter accounts that you have. Uh, the next thing I want to bring your attention to is right here, and it says Website. See that? Websites. Click the little pencil there on the websites. And at this point, this is very important right here. Do you see this? down arrow the options are personal website company blog rss feed portfolio i really want you to click other and that will open up a secondary window so i'm going to close this down to show you what happens so if i pick just company website you see it's only going to show my company website but and then the words next to it is company website but it won't tell you where they're going if you click other then it tells you where they're going. So I'm going to put that information down. And I change these around from time to time. So then after you're done with that, click Save. And now you have filled out at least the basic information so people can reach you. This is core to having a profile. A good photo. Now the picture comes with uh, people who have above the basic level uh, we're not going to talk about that today, but I do want to talk about summary. And uh, Greg Heyer and I are big advocates of uh, putting this in first person personal unless you introduce people on the street in third person. Uh, this is not a resume. This is a tool different from that. This is a networking tool for uh, the first impression of you. So uh, 
our our advice is first person personal. You might want to mention some specialties here. You can click here to edit it. Then you can add content. I choose to put videos of me training and speaking here. And you can add that by clicking this little thing here and add a link or upload a file like a PDF or something like that. Um, as well. But a link can link to a YouTube, a blog post, something else. Just make sure it has a picture if you're linking to a blog post so there's some information on it. The last thing I want to talk about here is this up and down arrow. You can move all the sections that have an up and down arrow up and down on LinkedIn. So very important piece to note. Now, skills and endorsements. Uh, information on that. List the skills you want to be evaluated for. You don't need as many as I've put in. Usually 12 is pretty good. And then you can include um, include me in endorsements uh, suggestions for my connections. You can uncheck that if you don't want it, uh, people to possibly be asked to give you endorsements. Show me suggestions to endorse my connections that's the thing that shows up at the top of the screen that many people find annoying you can unclick that if you want and then you can uh, click this if you don't want to be notified uh, with the endorse uh, when someone endorses you so as well as you can move these things up and down you can grab one and move it up or down if you want here and that's very useful. So my next comment is fill out your profile like you care about your first impression to people. Give them enough context. So if you went to college and invested in education, hopefully you have something you can talk about other than just listing the college. And I've gone back. Uh, Wake Tech, uh, St. Andrews. I even uh, included my high school that I taught holography there. Fill out something so that it shows you care enough about your first impression to someone as a professional. So if they choose to scroll down, there's some content here. This is uh, concludes this very simple introduction to setting up your LinkedIn profile. Look forward to seeing you in our classes and training and also look forward to hearing your comments below. This is Martin Brossman for Linking Into Sales.